Hello, I'm Dr. Don Zoltan. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at Midwest Orthopedic Specialty Hospital. Welcome to our hospital and to MyMosh.com and welcome to one of our operating rooms where this is being filmed today. Today we're going to talk about knee arthroscopy, specifically meniscus tears. This is Dan. He's a volunteered to be our pretend patient today. Later on we will show a video of an actual patient who had knee arthroscopy. But this is just uh, some preliminary views to show you some of the instruments and how knee arthroscopy is done. Three little incisions are made in the knee and you see three blue spots on his knee. This first incision up above is used to inflate the knee with a little tube or cannula like a straw. Uh, these other two incisions are for the arthroscope, which is a telescope that visualizes the interior of the knee and also for the instruments. This first incision is made and a small cannula that you see here is inserted into the knee joint. The blunt trocar in the middle is removed and it leaves this tube which is attached to saline which then inflates the joint to allow for better visualization and distension of the joint. This is the arthroscope sheath. It also has a trocar in the middle. The sheath is placed into the knee joint the trocar is removed and the arthroscope is placed uh, into the sheath. In the old days, uh, orthopedic surgeons used to look directly into the arthroscope to visualize the knee joint, which had its problems with contamination and difficulty of getting your eye down to the level of the knee. So there's been uh, tremendous improvements in that area and we now use a video camera that attaches right to the arthroscope. And we visualize the surgery through a TV monitor that you see over here. The work is all done down at the knee level. The visualization is all done on the TV screen. The first step in arthroscopy is diagnosis. You have to find out what the problem is. We look at the whole knee joint, the patella, the kneecap area on both sides of the knee. We look at the ligaments. We look at the cartilages or meniscus. In this patient, we're going to see the video of today there's a medial meniscus tear or a tear of the cartilage on the inside of the knee. First step in determining how bad the tear is to, is to use a probe. It's hard to see but it's a little hook like a crochet hook put it in the knee and pull to see what part of the meniscus may be torn or unstable. Once that's determined you remove in most cases the part that's torn. Some meniscus tears are repaired. In this video today we're going to see a meniscus tear that is not repairable so the part that was torn was removed. One of the instruments you're going to see on the video is a basket or punch that you actually munch or punch out little pieces of the meniscus to remove that part of the meniscus. Also in the video there's a uh, portion of the meniscus that's loose and that's grasped and pulled out. Following that the uh, rim of the meniscus is trimmed in a couple of ways. We do use a power shaver, it's like a roto-rooter that sucks the little pieces of the meniscus into the shaver and then cuts them off. And as a last step, what I like to do is use an electrocautery device to contract and stabilize the rim of the meniscus to smooth it out and also to prevent re-tears. But the key is for meniscus removal, if uh, there is a significant tear, is remove any loose fragments that can move that can get pinched or impinge in the knee or get, can get caught. As you can see in the video, the main principle of partial meniscus removal surgery is to remove all loose fragments of meniscus that are torn, that are loose, and that are unstable and that might get pinched or caught in the knee and cause persistent pain. So it's important to remove all the loose fragments. That's why you frequently check as you're removing parts of the meniscus to make sure there's no further loose fragments. And it's important to smooth the rim to make a smooth transition between the formerly torn part of the meniscus and the normal meniscus. Also, if there's any roughening or fraying of the joint surface cartilage or the, the surface of the joint, like the gray material on the end of a chicken bone, that type of cartilage material, it's helpful to smooth that out in addition. Knee arthroscopy is a day surgery procedure, meaning in and out the same day. The procedure itself can take anywhere from a half hour to 45 minutes or longer depending on what's done if there's some more major ligament surgery or other things done in the knee. Uh, the recovery is 
relatively quick for a partial meniscus removal. People can get off crutches as soon as they are comfortable. Some people don't use crutches at all, but usually in a day or two people are walking around fairly normally and back to most of their usual activities relatively rapidly.